Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to discuss um, just a roll up bar. It's just going to be a quick tutorial. Just going to tell you about the four types of the roll up bar. So basically, you have the objects, terrain, hide by category, and layers. So let's just start with the objects first. We've got AI which if you don't know stands for artificial intelligence and in here you can like you could make the AI do different things that like I'm gonna go into that in a another tutorial in more detail. We've also got the brush. The brush is what I mainly use in this object section. Sometimes Geon Entity Geon Entity is like um, they're, they're brushes but you can they can be scripted so you can interact with them and to add sound as well like my my this map actually has background music but it's, I've muted it so you can't hear it because it actually gets a bit annoying but when that's I will explain that in a different tutorial as well um, also misc these are misc as well so like if you was going to do a track view or whatever and you wanted to use the camera or like a the decals as well i've used decals um i haven't used a river tool but i've used i used the one similar to the river tool i actually used a, a water volume instead for the river so yeah area as well and what else have I used in this map? I've used entities, but only AI and some void entities as well. So the objects, that's what the objects tab allows you to do. Um, the terrain tab, the terrain modifier, I'm gonna go through that in a lot of details as well, the terrain modifier. Also, holes, this is, if you want to, holes this is how you would um like create create a cave and stuff use holes you have to make a hole environment allows you to change the settings the fogging the color of the water uh, and yeah the layer painter that's that's for texturing allows you to texture the map go into that in another tutorial um and the vegetation as well vegetation this is the vegetation technically this is not vegetation because it i didn't use the vegetation brush i actually manually put each of these things there because it, it, it gives you more control if you use them as a as a brush instead so technically this is not vegetation but this where you just use the brush is I'll go into that into more detail in another tutorial as well. Um so yeah that's this is that's the um the, the, the terrain tab and you've got the high bag category. Um I didn't even I didn't even really notice this tab before I made my layers otherwise I wouldn't have made some of these layers because they're pretty much the same so like if you wanted to click brushes all the brushes go so all of the brushes gone i'm just left with geom entities that those are geom entities as well this and some lights most of most everything's gone except from like the particles and a few others but that's what this allows you to do, allows you to hide that category um and the layers as well yeah these the layers I'm gonna go through that into more detail. The layers just allow you to choose what you wanna hide, what you wanna click, what you don't wanna click, things like that. So yeah, and that's, that's basically it. I'm gonna go into more detail about all of these things, but thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.